Ping Ju Yang, A Song of Ice and Fire, in a part. A Song of Ice and Fire is an epic, so let's start with a real life epic. Wang Zhaojun, one of the legendary four beauties of ancient China. She is revered as a bringer of peace between the Xiongnu and Han Chinese, but should also be remembered as a bridge of cultural exchange between nomadic and agrarian civilizations. It is believed that she is buried under that mound, and a Shen Dao spirit rope leading to her tomb also represents a harmony of cultures. The layout is typical of Chinese imperial tombs, but the statues lining both sides are not the usual Chinese mythological creatures or civilian and military officials. Instead, these are enlarged copies of Xiongnu ornamental figurines on display inside the museum. The complex is big and the day was hot, so after spending a better part of the afternoon here, we were ready for some drinks and grub. So we just finished a tour of the Zhao Jun Museum and are heading back to downtown Ho Hot. But first, we're gonna stop here at Zhe Cheng Bing Juan for some dinner. So this is a restaurant that specializes in Bing Zhu Yang, ice cooked lamb. Say what? Yeah, I know. We're curious too, and we're dying to find out. Zhe Cheng seems to be the biggest player in the Bing Zhu Yang market of Ho Hot, and maybe even for the whole of Inner Mongolia. They have about a dozen outlets in the city, and the one we went to is the main store. Meats were already divided into the standard kilogram portions and ready to go. Go where? Into this pot. Bing Zhu Yang, a song of ice and fire, in a pot. Yep, that's right, ice in a pot, to be heated with fire to cook lamb, along with things like onions and... Oh. Didn't understand whether she said or if she was speaking to us or her co-worker, but that last bowl should be a type of wine or liquor. These jugs have been granted a design patent, and the cooking method has both invention patent and intangible cultural heritage status. Quite the credentials, let's see if it lives up to potentials. To warm up our taste buds, we had a bowl of the ice turtle soup. Then it was time for us chow hounds to chow down. There are veggies, mushrooms, beef, etc. on the menu, but for the signature lamb, there are only two options. We ordered one kilogram each. That's the minimum quantity. First up, the Lang Chao Gao Yang Rou, temperate grassland lamb. Supposedly the ice bath followed by the hot bath tenderized the lamb. I don't know if it's the meat quality or the special cooking technique, but that lamb was incredible. These were sizable chunks and they had substance, but my teeth ripped through them as if they've been sitting in a sous vide bath for hours. We ordered two types of meat for this uh, Bing Zhu Yang. One is the Gao Yang or baby lamb. This is a bit more expensive. Uh, I feel like this is um, the leg of the lamb. And the other... Lamb rib, you see the bones here. Slightly cheaper, but um, looks pretty good too. Pretty freaking good. The little riblets were fattier and just as fantastic. The broth magnified the flavors of the lamb without disrupting their natural sweetness. So the meats were delectable on their own, but that's also a dipping sauce to mix things up. So we're about an hour into the meal, and there's still plenty of meat cooking. You know, the broth's been simmering, and the flavor intensifying. That's why this soup tastes awesome. And so are the meats. Amazing. I mean, I'm a 110% meat guy, but these veggies are great. We also had a delightful veggie dish not cooked in a pot. Sha Chong Tu Dao Si, Mongolian onion with shredded potato. It's like the Mongolian onion salad during our first whole hot dinner. The Sha Chong is akin to a cross between the crunchy texture of spring onion and pungency of Chinese chives. Similar to its close relatives such as garlic and onion, it matched well with the lamb. But now you're worried about onion breath from the Mongolian onion? Worry not. The delicious yogurt here can solve that problem. Just let that thick, creamy goodness coat your mouth. But I wish they could leave the honey on the side instead of pouring directly on the yogurt so we can first savor its natural acidity. We also ordered two flatbreads. One was this Niu Rou Xiaobi, flatbread with beef. It's close to the Toro Xiaobi, flatbread with camel meat during dinner one day ago, except the pastry here was layered and drier. The other flatbread was Tui Pi Yang Rou Huo crispy mutton flatbread. It's puffier than the other one, as Huo in general are more rounded whereas Xiaobi are usually flat. 
However, these are just descriptions of what we ate and not definitive rules, since both of them fall within the realm of being, which is a very diverse category with foods that differ vastly from place to place. Both flatbreads were satisfying, but the ice cold glam was still the true stunner. After the first bite of the meat, something animalistic just took over me, and it had nothing to do with any of the skin or fur hanging around. Zhou Shanbing Juan was a glorious song of ice and fire and a meal to remember. 再见!